The following contest is a tables match. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment, Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Yeah, the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. The irresistible force. And her opponent from San Diego, California, Maya Jack. One of the most dominant women in WWE history. Physically unparalleled in the women's division, Nia Jax has imposed her will on everyone that stepped in the ring as opposition. An incredible pedigree for success for Nia Jax. Definitely an electric feeling to this venue tonight. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? And set up a beautiful technique. What a stomp. Good grief. All measured up. Boom, what a kick. Oh, this is, what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow, lockjack! Face first. Boom! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Harsh impact. Oh, that might have just broken something. Jack seems to have lost a step now. Oh. He expected, though, given the competition she's in there with tonight. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. It's been an amazing match up to this point, guys. And from where I sit, any one of these women can win this thing. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Natalia's version of the sharpshooter taught to her by her uncle, WWE Hall of Famer Brett. Hitman Hart is perfectly executed and can snap an opponent's back like a twig. Oh, nasty flipping senton. And it's Natalia with the reversal. Natalia's certainly learned this business from some of the best. When the Queen of Hearts takes that first step and turns over her opponent, the sharpshooter is locked in, which means it's all over for Natalia's adversary. The sharpshooter is one of the most famous finishing maneuvers in sports entertainment. All it takes is seeing Natalia slap the submission on an opponent to see why. There are so many different ways for a superstar to put their opponent through the table in a tables match. Some matches start off as wild brawls and a table is brought out from under the ring in the match's opening minutes. In others, superstars are very strategic about when they bring out a table because they know if they're not careful, momentum can be reversed and they could end up being the one who goes through a table. Ooh, 
Nice Russian leg sweep. Byron, you talked about strategy that involves a tables match. I was in WWE when the Dudley boys came from ECW, and you could say that things changed a bit thanks to Bubba and Devon. Something that's also important to remember in a tables match is that it's not important how or where the table is positioned. All that matters is that you put your opponent through it. It's a very simple premise, Michael, but superstars have to be careful. They launch an attack that goes awry. Their own momentum can put them through the table and cost them the match. That doesn't include feeling the incredible pain from crashing through a solid wood table. One split second can be the difference. Through Kofi Kingston's career, the exciting superstar has competed in several types of WWE matchups. It didn't take long for Kofi to get comfortable in the tables match environment. At 2011's TLC event, Kingston took on the Celtic warrior Sheamus in a tables match for the United States Championship. Kofi was impressive in the match as he combined defense with his unbelievable high-flying assault. Byron, you spoke about Kofi Kingston's tables match against Sheamus at 2011's TLC event. Some people feel that match was one of the turning points for Kingston. That night, Kofi's usual fun-loving nature took a backseat to a more focused and offensively aggressive competitor. Kofi Kingston's focus was leaving TLC the new United States champion. And that approach paid off. Nia Jax. Nia oh, Jax and a leg drop. Thunderous leg drop. He's back in full control now. Natalia is in trouble. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Their opponent right through the table. This one, folks, is over. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Epic. Here is your winner, Nia Jax. And it looks like that table shattered into hundreds of little pieces. Hey, she was the better woman of the two tonight. It's that simple. And it certainly looks like somebody will be plucking splinters from their back for days.